inauguration now less than six days away. Authorities still making arrests and filing charges against suspects involved in last week's deadly Capitol riot. That's putting the spotlight on strict inauguration security. And Gator Hall is joining us now with more on these efforts, including help from Illinois. Gator. Yeah, Ray and Micah, federal authorities are projecting confidence about securing the inauguration with a coordinated law enforcement effort. The FBI director saying their posture is aggressive while they work to capture those involved in last week's attack and prevent more violence. In an inauguration security briefing with Vice President Mike Pence, FBI Director Chris Wray making his first public appearance since the deadly riot at the Capitol. We are seeing an extensive amount uh, of concerning online chatter. He says one of the challenges is deciphering between the aspirational and the intentional. We're monitoring all incoming leads, whether they're calls for armed protests, potential threats that grow out of the January 6th breach of the Capitol, or other kinds of potential threats uh, leading up to inaugural uh, events. And it will be an inauguration like no other. Layers of fencing and more than 20,000 National Guard members. These troops left from Peoria this morning headed to D.C. You get excited to do it, but you also get nervous because um, you never know exactly what to expect. And what to expect is unknown. Federal authorities are reportedly preparing for possible explosive devices and heavily armed protesters in D.C. and at state capitals. The FBI's director says 200 people People have been identified from last week's attack. More than 100 people have been arrested, and he says that should serve as a warning for others. We know who you are if you're out there, uh, and FBI agents are coming to find you. My advice to people who might be inclined to follow in the footsteps of those who engaged in the kind of activity that we saw last week is stay home. But adding to concerns over last week's failure, the Washington Post is reporting tonight that dozens of people, mostly suspected white supremacists who are actually on a terrorist watch list, were in Washington during that January 6th assault on the Capitol. Ray and Micah. Holding our breath. Thank you.